I kind of did not want to to even mention this because it's kind of beneath notice, but because I have a rule, right? I, I try not to say like when I talk about Ralph, which I do every week at this point because he is uh, a phenomenally fascinating person. Um, I try not to call him out on being a hypocrite because it's very easy. Ralph is continuously a hypocrite. He constantly contradicts himself. He makes no effort whatsoever to be consistent. And when he is inconsistent, he does not apologize for it. So it's like, why, why would I even spend time trying to point out that somebody is a hypocrite? Uh, why would I try time, you know, spend my time trying to, to correct him, to correct the record? There's no point. No, like nobody cares. His audience doesn't care. He doesn't care. My audience doesn't care, but in this instance, I will correct Ralph because it is so wrong that it leads me to hypothesize about his mental state, Chad. There is a user on Twitter uh, called VHS Archive, and I don't know too much about them. I think they make little video edits making fun of Ralph. I think Jim has retweeted him. But Ethan Ralph decides... Um, now that I have gotten my ass kicked in Portugal and I am now stuck in a hotel room and I refuse to leave my, um, my room and go do anything because, uh, there is an imminent risk of me getting my ass kicked again. I'm going to spend time doxing the A-logs and sure. Okay. Go for it. So he does, he goes to VHS archives, YouTube channel, and he pulls up the business inquiry email address, which is Luna bucks at gmail.com which is a very kind of generic name because if you don't know it is a my little pony reference i'm pretty sure uh because luna is the name of one of the the god horses and bucks is like a like a horse so just it's like a brony email which is you know kind of embarrassing to have on your a log channel but ralph being a a genius decides to go to google and this is the behavior you would expect to find someone submitting their for, first thread, their per, personal army fail docs thread to the forum. Um, someone who just does not give a shit and just lazily goes to Google and types in whatever. And then they find any other person called that and they just assume this has to be the same person. So he does this and he finds Luna UK who is a as he says hello vhs now this appears to be like a gothic woman from the uk and he says i have 100 percent confirm this is them btw someone who really doesn't like them hit me with the current and completely accurate info ha 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 i love being me he adds and then this is the Discord message that this incredibly uh, reliable person has. And now this is also the same person, according to them. This is like a cam whore in an interview showing off their shitty art. My hoes, what's going on? It's the Macho Show! <laughs> so this person is, according to Ralph, VHS Archives, who is the same person as Luna UK here. But then he continues, because Ralph is a genius. Uh, he c continues to search Luna Bucks. And, uh, um, oh, no, this is the person, I'm sorry, this is the person who, uh, the, the person in Muslim hijab who put pork rind on this thing. That's not VHS. This is VHS. But then he continues and he decides that uh, I'm going to Google this Luna Bucks and find more. So he finds a brony with a... A Japanese name and uh, decides that this person is also the same Luna Bucks. Manda Huyong. Manda Huyong. That is a very interesting name for a British town. And because it's not, because they're not from uh, this Weeaboo named Luna Bucks with a Japanese name, is not a British woman. They are. Uh, from the Philippines, as you can see here, they post in our Philippines. It looks hella scripted as fuck. So, for whatever reason, Ralph very lazily assumes that this person is the same is a Filipino. This is a Filipino woman in the UK, living in the UK town of 
Man Mandaluyongshire, which is a very popular, <laughs> it's, it's very quaint in there. Uh, but he continues, he's on a roll, right? So he Googles Luna Bucks again and finds that there is a YouTube user by the name of Luna Bucks who has a Instagram called Kitty Gets Claws, who is trans. Dun, dun, dun. So this, this nail, this trans nail artist is also Luna Bucks UK, who is also Filipino. And there we have that Ethan Ralph, the smartest man in the entire world, who loves being him so much, uh, has doxxed one of the most prominent A-logs in the sector. And finally, to top it all off, he comes up with a true genius conjecture. He accuses the notorious because vhs archive doesn't have a kiwi farms account as far as i'm aware so he has to tie this to his real a log enemies at the kiwi farms and who who could be the filipino british transgender person on the kiwi farms none other than gay stoner who is a gay man <laughs> Well, I mean, I guess they're a transgender Filipino uh, British woman. So being gay ties into that perfectly. And I, I'm not even like shitting you. He says that this person who is a gay man is also all these other people who are like eight different Luna Bucks. And then he says, he, he, he remembers, aha, I can prove this, he says during his stream. The Kiwi Farms got hacked. I can just go and find what email address he used to register his account, and chances are it will be Luna Bucks. The problem is that the hack happened in 2019. He registered a year afterwards. And the other thing is, is that he is definitely not from the Philippines or the United Kingdom. Uh, so if that's his, his current conjecture, he is completely, completely wrong. This was like the content for his show. This is what people paid him. Like, I think that says eighty dollars. He made eighty dollars to 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 go through and fail docs VHS archive as a transgender British Filipino, and it's it, it would. And this is why I don't bother to even point this out unless it's like independently funny, like this is because his audience doesn't care. His audience is like, um. Uh, like, I guess the audience for WWE, because that's what he thinks of himself. He thinks of himself as like a heel. So his audience doesn't care that it's all bullshit. As long as he's hollering and reminding them of their dad who watched CNN and would holler at the TV. Um, and as long as he just pretends that he's winning. In their minds, they're perfectly satisfied by this. They don't actually need any kind of, like, s substance from this to, to be satiated there's no intellectual curiosity from the people who still follow nick fuentes and ethan ralph so this this suffices which is why i don't really bother to like correct the record in general uh this is i don't i don't know because if i say it i'm gonna be wrong this is the person who's in this video i think it does look like them so this is a lot more convincing than than um than the Luna Buck shit. You can just look at them and kind of tell they're the same. So this weirdo and his his weird thought girlfriend, I guess, go, goes to Gunt Mecca with the offering of pork rinds. And she literally says a prayer and they walk off. And then Ralph says, Some fat, nasty bitch in a hijab came up to my house, spurred out. I guess she didn't know I had my own cameras out there definitely doesn't look like a sane individual which kind of reminds me of dragon lord um because a logs would go to dragon lord's house and like fuck with them because he would like spray them with a water hose and shit like it's just going to become a thing where people you know like pay tribute to gunsville virginia and he's just going to have to holler and like make a scene every single fucking time and th that'll just be his life uh well not his life actually uh, because I mentioned last last week that he is staying for two weeks overseas. He's already gone to Madrid because he's already done everything that there is to do in fucking Lisbon. And now he's in just like hanging out in Spain. He says that the nightlife is great. So I guess he's fucking more horrors in Spain. Meanwhile, uh, May is with the newborn baby girl back at home. 
and dealing with pork rinds being offered at their house like it's a fucking shrine <laughs> like it's the um the the black cube in mecca what's that called There's, it's a k-word uh Ka kaaba they're going to the kaaba to offer pork rinds at and <laughs> he has already said he's already said that he intends to extend his vacation He's only a couple days into it, and he's already planning on staying there. <laughs> the Buffalo Cube. <laughs> um, he's he's going to stay there even longer. So I don't even know what the fuck he's planning to do. But it's like, um, uh, I, I just whatever it takes, whatever it takes to stay away from May. And by the way, I just received word. That as I'm talking about him, he has retweeted something funny. This white king watch, right? Re retweet this to guard Ethan Ralph, and it has 16 retweets. My child will stalk, swat, and gossip about Ethan Ralph, but then Jesus, my man Jesus, on the right hand side, saying, My child will gunt guard. So the children of Christ will defend this fat piece of shit. And meanwhile, the devils will be will be making fun of them. <laughs>